EndNote ships with import filters and connection files for most commonly used bibliographic databases. If you remember from my previous tutorials, an import filter is used to parse exported records from the databases, and a connection file is used to connect to the database directly from within EndNote. So for example, when I import a data file from PubMed, I must choose the NLM PubMed import filter. When I search PubMed directly from within EndNote, I am using the NLM PubMed connection file for EndNote. In most cases, you wouldn't need to change an import filter or a connection file that chips with EndNote. Even when things change, for example, the database you use changes its data output format, usually EndNote will release an update to the import filter or the connection file. You can find all filters and connection files maintained by EndNote on its website, the URL of which shows up at the bottom of the screen. So here are the filters. And here are the connection files. But there are times when you do need to customize an import filter or a connection file. Here is the scenario. For some reason, the import filter and connection file for PubMed put the full journal title in the alternate journal field and the abbreviated journal title in the journal field, which is exactly the opposite of its behavior with other databases. So let's say I'm going to import these records into EndNote. I'm going to select them. Send to Citation Managers. Create file. Launch EndNote. Select a filter. NLM PubMed. And import. Now if I take a look at the records, you will see that in the journal field, we have the abbreviated title. And in the alternate journal field, you have the full journal title. Let's look at another record. Same here. The same thing also happens when you search PubMed directly from within EndNote using connection file. So online search, PubMed NLM. I'll just do a simple search here. I'm going to grab the first five records. All right, here they are. Let's take a look at the records. In the journal field, there is the abbreviated journal title. And in the alternate journal field, there is the full journal title. Look at another record. Same thing. Now this may not seem to be a big problem, but if you use the journal term list feature to manage full and abbreviated journal titles, your journal term list will be messed up because EndNote automatically generates full journal titles from the journal field and the abbreviated journal titles from the alternate journal field. This is a very peculiar behavior of the import filter and connection file for PubMed. I don't know why it's doing this, but we can fix that by creating a custom import filter and a connection file based on the existing ones. In the final end, all the import filters and the connection files do is parsing data from the database in a specific tagged format based on a handful of rules. Here's a sample data exported out of PubMed. And you can see that there are field tags on the left and values for those fields on the right. Now let's take a look at our import filter for PubMed. Go to Edit, Import Filters, Edit PubMed NLM. If you don't see PubMed NLM here, choose Open Filter Manager and choose PubMed NLM from there. So this ENF file, which is short for EndNote Filter, is the import filter for PubMed that ships with EndNote. There are many different parts of this filter, but we're only going to be worrying about the template section. So this says for the reference type journal articles, these are the rules for parsing the data. In the column on the left are the field tags from PubMed, and in the column on the right are the field names for the EndNote record. So basically this says anything that is in the AB tag in the PubMed data file will be imported into the abstract field in the EndNote record. Anything in the AD field from PubMed will go to the author address field, and anything in the AU field will go to the author field, and so forth. Now let's scroll down to the JT field, which in the PubMed data format contains the full journal title and it is being imported into the alternate journal field. That's our problem. Let's go further down, take a look at the TA field, which in the PubMed data file carries the abbreviated journal title, and we can see that it is being imported into the journal field. 
So basically, what we need to do is to switch them so that the JT field is linked to the journal field and the TA field is linked to the alternate journal field. So we can highlight the right column cell for the JT field and use this drop down menu to insert the correct field name, which is journal. And we can go down to the TA field. Highlight the right column cell. Use the drop down menu to insert the alternate journal field. That's it. That's all you need to do to fix this. Of course, there's a lot more in customizing import filters than fixing templates. You can play with each one of these sections on the left. But like I said, there is really a problem with these filters. Now that we've modified our filter, the best practice is to save the filter as a new one so that the original is always there and kept clean. In fact, EndNote wouldn't even allow you to override the original. So, File, Save As. I'm just going to call this PubMed NLM Switched. Obviously, you can call this anything you want. Okay, now when we import data from PubMed, And this time, choose our new filter. You will see that the journal titles are imported into the correct fields. Now, this only fixes the import filters. When you connect directly to PubMed from within EndNote, things are still wrong. We need to do the same thing for the connection file. So go to Edit, Connection File. Edit PubMed NLM. Again, if you don't see PubMed NLM, open Connection Manager and find PubMed NLM there. Again, we're going to go to Templates and make the same changes to the template for journal articles. Find JT and change the right column cell to be Journal. And then go down to find TA, change the right column cell to Alternate Journal. Again, I'm going to save it with a different name. I'm going to call it PubMed NLM Switched. Now let's add this new connection file to our connection shortlist on the left under Online Search. Click More, find our new connection, and click Choose. Okay, now let's do a search with this new connection. Highlight it in the lower right pane. I'm going to do a simple search. Grab the first five records. And you can see that the titles are now in the correct fields. That's it for today. See you next time.